Hi, welcome to this DT Guru revision video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the difference between first angle and third angle orthographic projection. Now, if you want to know more about the symbols, please watch the previous video that will give you more details about the symbols and the way they're drawn and how they're laid out. Now, today we're going to start with third angle projection, third angle orthographic projection, okay, and look at the, diff the, the way that it's laid out. Now, for me, third angle orthographic projection is the one that makes the most sense in terms of its layout. Okay, it's very simple, it's very straightforward and should be relatively easy to learn. Now, we have our 3D shape here. Now, the 3D shape given to you may be given to you in isometric view, may be given to you in oblique view, may be given to you in planimetric view, one point perspective, two point perspective. They may give you any type of 3D drawing to use as a reference for your orthographic drawing. Now what you all might, might, might also find in the exam is that you give you an orthographic drawing that is not complete and you have to complete it. And this seems to be quite popular um, from 2014 onwards with this graphics paper. Uh, rather than drawing a whole uh, orthographic drawing from scratch, they ask you to complete one. Anyway, let's look at the way this is laid out. So, the thing that makes the most sense about this is actually bottom left of the 3D drawing is drawn on the bottom left of the drawing. Bottom right view, which is the side, is what we see from this, this, this direction, is drawn on the bottom right. And what we see from above is drawn above the front view. Okay? It's quite straightforward. Now, in terms of what we see, okay, we can, we can also break this down. So, front view, we see this outline shape here. We see the circle inside, and we see this bit protruding at the top. Now, directly above that, we've got the plan view which let's imagine that this 2D view of the front became 3D. We have to imagine what we're seeing from here. So as you see here on this resource that I've made, the eye is looking down and the line goes back up and it is drawn above. So whatever we see from here, let's imagine this was 3D, is drawn above the shape. Uh, and in this particular instance, what we see, so you can see here we've got the, the blue eye now, what we see looking in this direction at the 2D shape, imagining it was 3D, we draw over here as our side view. Now, a little bit of uh, extra revision here. Dotted lines represent hidden lines, and the reason we have a hidden line is because we have a cutout going through this 3D shape. Okay, so imagine you had a cutout going all the way through the 3D shape. This is representing that drilled hole that goes through. So rules for third angle, okay? The plan view should go above the front view, never below. If it's below, the chances are it's going to be a first angle drawing. Whatever is seen from one side of the object, imagine the 2D views in the 3D like we just said, is drawn on the same side of the object as a reflection. Okay, so it's almost like what you see from there, you reflect it and you draw it in this particular direction. Um, very important that you understand this. Uh, orthographic drawing does come up very often in the exam and I think it is crucial that you understand the difference between these two types of drawing particularly if you're asked to identify it. So that's first ang uh, third angle. Third angle is pretty straightforward. This is the symbol for third angle. If you want to find out more about the symbols please watch the other video that goes into more details about the, 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 the symbols and their arrangement and alignment. Now in terms of first angle, okay, what we have here we have a slightly different scenario and for me I find this one a little bit more complicated to get my head around and from my experience students do also. We have three views of the 3D shape. Now these three views, okay, front, side and plan, just as we had them before, nothing has changed, okay, the drawing is exactly the same. However in this instance things get flipped around, so for example the front view is drawn at the top and the plan view is drawn underneath the top. So whatever we see, looking at this, 3D sh this 2D shape, if it was 3D from above, we jump over the shape and we draw it underneath. The same with this view. This view represents what we see when looking at this front view from this angle, we jump over the shape and we draw it over here. So that's what makes it different, okay? First angle, the view that we see jumps over the shape and is drawn on the opposite side. So first angle is the opposite, third angle is always a reflection of what you see. That's the way that I remember it. So, to summarize, rules for first angle. Your plan view goes underneath the front view. 
And whatever is seen from one side of the object, imagine the 2D views in 3D, is drawn on the opposite side of the view. And if you look at these color codes, that'll make that very clear to you. Um, that's really all you need to know for this. Okay, remembering obviously your hidden lines and obviously making sure that what you see from here always jumps over the object and you should be absolutely fine with that. Um, best of luck with this. I mean, it, it is hard to get your head around it, but obviously the more practice you do, the easier it's going to become. What I would suggest for revision leading up to the exam is to get yourself some isometric shapes and draw them both in first and third angle. And the more of these you do, the easier you're going to find it. So here's one for you. Okay, if you want to pause this video, all dimensions are shown as well, or you can sketch it if you prefer. Why not have a go at drawing this in first, first angle and then in third angle orthographic view, and that will give you an idea of where the views need to be positioned, and there you have it. Good luck.